windy, huh? Yep. Back left. Okay, last one. So this is the plant, the spiky plant that's here in the desert that um, sometimes if tundra is running full speed and chasing after birds or chasing after rabbits, she can totally run into these and they hurt. So she's had them stuck in her feet before and it's painful. So this is the number one reason why we got her the shoes is because, you know, some people said, oh, you know, shoes are bad for the dogs. Just let them adapt to their natural environment, which is so true. But this is not something a dog can adapt to. So we've been stopping like every 30 minutes just to make sure that shoes are on, on good. We've been walking for, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. So far, so good? What you got, Tedra? Let's go. <laughs> This is coyote territory over here, yeah. down here. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty much. They be crying every night. Yeah, <laughs> this is where they are at. More often, they are like they're awake at nighttime, and then they're very active at night. Um, we hear them at night all the time, and then in the daytime, they're probably sleeping or something. So like. <laughs> yeah, I know some people are gonna ask like. Why are we doing here? There's coyote, but everything comes with a risk. I mean, even I come jogging by myself and no coyote is gonna keep me from living my life or having fun over here. Um, and we know that the coyotes here, they just, they have, they're not gonna spend their energy attacking a large dog like Tundra. They're gonna spend their energy um, trying to gain up on a tiny critter or a smaller dog. If we had a small dog, we wouldn't bring it here. We really wouldn't, but you know, Tundra is pretty much the size of those coyotes. Also, we've taught her because we've seen coyotes multiple times. They're not just up here in the hills. We see them in our community because we literally see, like you see the houses right there. We literally live right here, right against the wildlife. So we have co um, coyotes in our community all the time and she's seen them and she knows, she knows not to approach them. She knows that they're not good. She knows to stay away and stay close to us. Those shoes are friggin' impressive. I really thought they would fall off by now. I thought we were gonna have to wrap them with some tape or something, but apparently not. Good job, Wagner. All right, guys, so we're gonna give you the last update. So, Tundra has done a little more than four miles in her Crocs, in her Wagwear shoes, and we've seen no problem at all. They've stayed in place really well. She's had no problem running on them, jumping in them. Um, they look cute. Yeah. Boops. <laughs> and there's no rip or, or tears. Yeah, no rip, no tears, nothing like that. And as you can see, the, the train is really rocky and really rugged. And it has not fallen off. They haven't fallen off at all. I really recommend these. Um, we'll take a look at her feet, how they look when we get home, but I'm sure she's fine. Good job, Mama. Uh, yeah, we're about a... We're about a quarter mile from home, so we're gonna um, home. head home right now and give her some dinner soon. All right, guys. So we have some bison burger today with some fries.
one is Tundra's I have. This one's Tundra, it has no seasoning on it. You want some lettuce? Taste lettuce. Yeah, you wait for the. <laughs> no? I don't want to stay. I want the stay. Hey. That's good too. She's angry. <laughs> She's angry. <laughs> So we're gonna eat first. Let's see. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. You're next, okay? So you ready for this? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So we're done eating. Now it's Tanja's turn. Tanja, get off. Oh my gosh. Okay, off. You gotta wait. So I'm gonna cut this here. Mm. Hold on, mama. All right, Tandra. Okay, ready? Sit. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Okay. The meat. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, I thought I was gonna see. Oh, we've got the cheese for her. Oh yeah, she would have loved the cheese. It's okay, she gets cheese all the time. Yeah. Tundra, the first day dad and I saw your picture, we immediately felt warmth in our hearts. We thought you looked like an angel and so cute and so peaceful. We thought, wow, I think we're the lucky ones to take home such a great girl. She must be the pick of the litter because she's so calm and so sweet. Little did we know what you had in store for us. As soon as we brought you home, we wanted to love you and take care of you and cuddle you. But all you wanted to do was bark at us and bite us and pee on us. You were also super possessive of your bed and never let us cuddle with you in it. You would bite us with fury until we left you. We even had to have an intervention with grandma and auntie in your puppy room. Do you remember that? When we all came in to talk to you and see how we could live more peacefully together. But you weren't having it. You barked at us to get out. You were oddly territorial when you were a pup. You were such a little firecracker, and to be honest, we were a bit scared of you. After a few days, we thought, hmm, did we actually get the bad apple of the bunch? Is she broken? You loved going your own direction since you were a pup. You like to do what you want, when you want, and you sure don't like listening to mom or dad till this day. But you do, because you're a good girl. As you grew older, we felt more like a family, and you were the rebellious teen. My goodness, you drove me and dad crazy. I would get so frustrated that I would cry at the end of the day because we couldn't figure out what we were doing wrong as parents. Why wouldn't you listen? We learned that things really do take time. You can't rush things, especially if you want them to come out as special as you. We're incredibly proud of you and how far you've come. Tundra, you annoy us a million times a day. You take up the entire space of the couch. You whine while we try to work. You stare at us while we eat and make us feel uncomfortable. You wake us up every midnight to put the covers back on you. And you make road trips the absolute worst because you sit on me with your big bird claws that dig into my skin. You are known as the wild child at the dog park. And you sure have embarrassed us a lot in the past. But you're also the life of the party and the dog with the kindest soul. We love that you always welcome all dogs. We love that you make all dogs feel comfortable. And we love that you are so social.
thank you for always waiting at the bottom of the stairs for us when we go up to bed. It makes us feel like a pack. Thank you for licking mom's tears away when she cries. It makes her feel loved. Thank you for being brave and courageous. It makes us feel safe. You teach us patience. You teach us understanding. You teach us how to be a pack and how to trust and love each other like no other. We could love you for a hundred years and it still would not be long enough. We are entirely, wholeheartedly in love with everything about you. All we want to do is adore you with absolutely nothing in return. So remember that when you catch mom and dad staring at you, we're just admiring at how absolutely wonderful you are.